All right, guys, just going to cover this very, very quickly. First thing is, I will not find your clients for Visidar, uh, or sorry, your call center. I don't do that. What happens is some people approach me that are connected with me or watch the channel and say, Matt, I've got a small campaign, I need five people, blah, blah, blah. I will give them call centers I've worked with in the past because I already can verify their quality, et cetera, and I've worked with them. I'm not taking on any new call centers. In all honesty, a lot of call centers have had to adapt to the market changes. Myself, it's why I'm not too fussed on getting back to the Philippines and opening up again. There's, that's what I find funny with trolls because they have no concept of how businesses work because um, ultimately the whole market's changed. I actually have to retrain everybody from scratch because it's no longer uh, phone bashing. At the same time, getting inbound contracts, the prices are being dropped, outbound coins, coin, <coughs> contracts are being pushed the same way. It's not something I'm interested in anymore. We were in at the right time, made some good money, got out of it, moved into somewhere else now. And to be honest, if I was actually looking at setting it back up, it'd be around graphics design, SEO, and um, maybe even YouTube stuff, even doing things like managing multiple accounts for all the thumbnails and all that sort of stuff. That's the stuff I would look at um, because they're more niche and you can reach people directly rather than trying to get a call center contract where the business that's asking for it has already got another 100 call centers on it. But anyway, now I'm on to what I'm going to talk about today, which is Visidal. Visidal is free. You can download this. You can install it on a server. It runs on Asterix. If you're running a call center, this automatic dialing system works really well. It will take you about a month to fully understand it. Um, and I do recommend you understand it. Not your IT guy, you understand it. And get a screen up on the wall that you can watch in the call center to look for things like congestion on the lines. Congestion on the lines can cost a lot of money quite quickly because the calls aren't completing, but the dialer keeps churning more and more calls, which you're paying for. You know, it's actually getting run up on your uh, data. Um, so bear that in mind. It's why one of the reasons that my dialing costs were about a third of a lot of other call centers because I monitor the actual congestion. But at the same time, when I'm sitting there looking into the office next door and seeing that people are looking a bit half asleep, I throttle the, the dialing number up and try and just get it to the maximum um, to wake everybody up getting calls every few seconds, it becomes like a chicken house where we're like, but uh, the point is, you need to understand this software. That is your bread and butter. That is your cash. Um, but it's free. Download it. Visidial.org gives you it. Um, if you're serious about call center, this, this piece of software will make life so much easier. The automation on it, with 45 people, I was dialing 29,000 calls a day. Um, I'm out of the call center stuff. Like I said, I'm not really interested these days. I'm more interested in software design and other bits and pieces are a bit more interesting for me. But it's one of the reasons the call center hasn't reopened because several of the people that I've worked with before, as soon as even from my own VA, uh, <coughs> they just go, it's too hard. It's too hard. And you're thinking, it's not that hard. I can teach you. All I need is somebody who's capable of doing X, Y, Z. You just have to log in and follow my patterns. You know, just copy what I do, replicate it. It's too hard. Even about a month ago, somebody was needs needs the work, and I asked them to just take some of my videos on another channel and just write articles, almost like transcription. Now they're doing transcription already for somebody else at a very low rate. Uh, with this, they could have been earning a lot more money, but they're like, well, I don't want to let you down. I don't know what... Yeah, that's the frustrations I have. But see, with the call center, it's much easier. We just got people in, they applied, and sometimes I just got them started. They'll come in and ask about a job, and they say, there you go, there's a chair, and they'll sit between two experienced agents, and whether they liked it or not, they were starting, and that was it. Off they went, and it worked really well, because the thing is, all my agents could get a job in any call center in Cebu, and m most of them have. You know, at the end of the day, I'd say about 99% of them are working in call centers right across Cebu. And that, for me, is the achievement of it. You know, at the end of the day, they got work. But the big problem I have is trying to get 
that next level, which is moving somebody from phone bashing into something else. You know, we ran transcription for a while, had a few, I think it was about six to 10 agents on that, but it it's one of those other ones that was a race to zero. Too many, I'll, I'll be honest with you, if, if Indians and Pakistanis can do it, they're going to do it for cheaper. It's as simple as that. It's just being honest. Because one of the things they do struggle with is YouTube because they can't, a lot of them can't speak good English. They'll say, I speak, I speak very good English. But the problem is when you're actually trying to sell something, that accent often puts a lot of people off and it makes it difficult. But also a lot of people are aware of it, which is why you see a lot of these videos with just music and stuff on it. Um, trying to get some Filipinos to do something similar, but obviously with a better accent and do some accent training as well. It's hard work. Um, but ultimately, there is work out there, but not everything relies on call center and phone bashing. I do recommend if you're running a call center, have a look at other niches that may actually be paying you better money. I was doing quite well because we were in the solar energy business when it was heavily subsidized, which meant that there was money for everybody. You know, at the end of the day, we're getting $70 a lead. So when you're getting, well, it's between 70 and hundred and ten dollars it was in new york i think it was down at 45 but then we ditched the guy that was doing that and we went direct with a company um and got much better deals but the point being is most of these other guys are multi-tiered you're down here your call center just starting out the reason i recommend doing stuff like even just thumbnails for people on youtube or transcripting their videos and stuff like that you can approach them directly you can have a hundred of your own clients that way. Phone bashing, you're approaching somebody that already has a hundred call centers. And they're not looking to pay you well. They're looking to pay the, the absolute minimum and profiteer as much as they can. So that's why I don't bother with the call centers these days. But anyway, up to you. But do not ask me, can I help? The, can I set this up? Can I find your clients? I'm out of the call centers. I'm not interested anymore. I'm more interested in using it for virtual assistants and other things, which are a different tier. Um, but the problem I have with that is getting the right people. Thanks for watching.